Good evening. I'm Jem Jemshaw. Some know him as the data analyzing robot for the ruthless extermination of noobs. Most just call him Darren. But what do we really know about this strange robot? Who is he? Where did he come from? Why did he exterminate the noobs? It's been three weeks now since the mysterious Great Blip saw Darren go from being a humble co-host of a video game show to extreme ruler of the universe, seemingly overnight. The world watched on in shock as he rapidly exterminated all Newbury in the world, which ushered in a new era of world peace and prosperity. We here at 60 Megabytes now have the exclusive interview with the enigmatic automaton. Should we accept this unelected random robot as our leader? That and more tonight on 60 Megabytes. Uh, now, thank you for coming on the show, Darren. Uh, before we begin, uh, grapes? Where are my grapes? Jem Jem sure has grapes. Thank you, and you're fired. Now, are you comfortable? Can we get you a coffee or anything before we begin? That's okay. Mariam is bringing me my oil latte now. <laughs> Oh, thank you, Mariam. Mm, that smells divine. You've really got these oil lattes down now. Uh, maybe angle it into the scoop. Uh, let's begin. Okay, well, Darren, thank you for joining us tonight on 60 Megabytes. Oh, of course, it's a pleasure. Now, I know we're all very curious to find out how you came to be the extreme ruler of the universe, but before we get into that, I'd like to ask you a bit about your early life and family. I'm an open book. Ask away. You've said in the past you were born to two robot parents and have a rather large extended family. Let's take a look. Barjo here. Hi, Darren. Hello. So, we were just wondering, uh, what are your mumbot and dadbot's names? Oh, well, my mumbot is Doreen, which stands for the Data Organising Robot for the Efficient Extermination of Noobs. And dadbot is Donald, which stands for the Destroyer of Noobs and Linguini Dispenser. Oh, that's right. He was a pasta chef, wasn't he? I have a very, very large family. There's my famous pasta chef dadbot, my adopted son, Derp, and then, of course, there's grandbot and popbot. My, my cousins, the Daleks, they're always fun to catch up with at Christmas. Oh. Auntie Android, uh, but of course robots are immortal, so there's also Great Grandbot and Great Popbot. Oh, affirmative. Mumbot and Dadbot. I really should call them. Oh, and that reminds me, I haven't heard from Derp in years. <laughs> that little rapscallion is probably off an Andromeda somewhere, starting a noob-destroying empire of his own. <laughs> they grow up so fast. Mm, yes. So you claim you are from another galaxy born to robot parents, but in the GGSP 10th anniversary special, Barjo and Hex said this. Well, I mean, truth be told, he was made in the ABC props department. I think they just installed some kind of program that makes him think he can do anything. I mean, he thinks he can sing. Have you heard him sing? What do you have to say to that? Uh, well, it's simply not true. So you're denying you were made in the ABC props department? <laughs> of course I'm denying it. I mean, my mumbot has even been on the set. Isn't that proof enough? Now you've got your joints lubricated. Yes, mumbot. And you've got your plutonium rods. Yes, mumbot, plenty of those. All right then, dear, I'll see you soon. Bye. You've got my number. <laughs> How could anyone fake that? Mm. Well, our sources say that was actually just you in a costume doing a silly voice, combined with a fairly obvious editing trick. Negative! I, uh, 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 uh you know, I, I really can sing. I have the voice of an angel. The phone rings in the middle of the night. My father yells, what you gonna do with your life? Where nights at the round table, we dance whenever we're able. And if you only hold me tight, we'll be holding on forever. I'll laser noobs. Till there's none left. Mumbot, I've lasered noobs. Charge my lasers every day. Zap the noobery away. We need to cut the music. Bug mill, pull the plug. Oh, clearly the human hosts are just jealous of my immense fame and success. 
OK, let's move on to your career at GGSP. <gasps> Affirmative! So many happy memories! Hang it! Oh, oh no, this is my bladder! Hang it, goose! Oh, oh, banana! Oh, banana, oh, banana, oh, banana oh, down! Oh, banana oh, down! Oh, he's taking a while to answer. Do you think he's screening our calls? Hello, hello! Isn't it wonderful I'm now able to zip in and out of my robot whenever I wish? Oh, yeah, it's great! Well, as much as I do enjoy being constantly connected to the mainframe, I have been missing some of the simpler things, like the feel of a cool breeze on my grill, Aww. the smell of a fresh batch of cheese toasties. Mm. Yeah, you've really outdone yourself with these ones. It's Mumbot's special recipe. Real toasties? Oh, thanks, Darren. Mm. Well, they don't all seem like such happy memories to me. Our researchers have found several instances that look like you created a hostile work environment. Let's take a look. Here we are, Brian. Charging my cupcake cannon! shot a laser at us and I almost died. Oh, affirmative. Ah, Darren, that stings. You know, I'm a bit on edge. And then Darren comes in and he makes me put a piece of bread on either side of my face. You know what you are, Barger? What am I? You're a noob sandwich. Say it, what are you? I'm a noob sandwich. You're... Darren, what? Darren! This was a triumph. For the crime of third degree not double checking things about DLC, I hereby find you, Bustard Custard, and sentence you to sip from the Noob Cup. I'm not sure I see the problem. I'm designed to exterminate Noobery. I was merely carrying out my programming. And how exactly does forcing your colleagues to run through laser gauntlets or trapping them in infinite portals exterminate Noobery? <laughs> With all due respect, I don't tell you how to do your job, do I? I think you're avoiding the question. Uh, negative! You're avoiding the question. OK, well, let's move on. So how exactly did you find yourself working as a TV presenter? Seems like an odd career choice for a noob-destroying robot. Oh, well, it's something I've always wanted to do. Uh, some of my all-time heroes have been TV presenters, whether they were news reporters, talk show hosts or sports commentators. I always marvelled at their ability to entertain and inform. Hello and welcome to the Darren Factor, where we find out if the Spawn Point hosts have what it takes to reach the top of the charts. Well, how exhilarating to do the website swishy thing. I, I feel so alive. <laughs> I should come to the desk more often, shouldn't I? Uh, uh, <laughs> oh, thank you, thank you. Oh, they love me. <laughs> I'm the robot with the golden voice box, Darren, coming to you from high up in the commentary box. Uh, excuse me, excuse Darren. me. <laughs> Camera? Camera one? I think we're ready to get started! And I mean, what better platform is there to exterminate Newbury than from national television? Except maybe an orbital space-based laser platform, of course. Hmm, indeed. Uh, now, you claim to be a classically trained actor. Oh, affirmative. I am a trained actor bot. To be or not to be? That is the question. It is the East, and Juliet is the sun. <laughs> I'm sorry, Jessica. My hard drive is almost full. I don't have enough free space. You know, I auditioned for the part of Iron Man. That kind of makes sense. What happened, Darren? They said I was more of a tin man. Philistines don't know talent when they see it. Oh, well, you're always a superhero to us, Darren. Oh, thank you, Rad. Ah, uh, yes, Actorbot. But we've found no record of you actually being enrolled in any theatre schools or participating in any theatre shows. Well, I didn't go to any human schools, obviously. I went to Actorbot school. Hmm? And I was in several live GGSP shows, so that counts. And, uh, I was in Totally Incompatible. Mm. 
a bit part in a cheesy sitcom? Do you really think that qualifies you to be called a classically trained actor? Well, it was a major part in a cheesy sitcom. Uh, but, but I played other roles too, you know. Bonjour, I am here to collect the package for the good game. Oh. I've got you now, you noob scum. I want ye to scrubbing the poop deck or you be walking the plank before a sunset. Me is Darren Stein. A negative. Darren? Negative. 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 Oh, no. Darren must have forgotten to put up his internal firewall. He's possessed. <laughs> Welcome to Spawny Park! Oh, 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 oh it's perfectly safe. Oh, oh. Well, I suppose acting, just like art, is in the eye of the beholder. Mm, indeed. Uh, anyway, let's move on. Uh, since you became extreme ruler of the universe, you have successfully managed to exterminate all Newbury on Earth. And as a result, a world peace has formed. Uh, how did you do it? Oh, it's simple, really. I just launched a constellation of denubing satellites which have been firing invisible, high-frequency denubing lasers at everyone. <laughs> pew pew, no more noobs. And as we've seen, Noobry was clearly the root of all the world's problems all along. Sorry, you've launched a constellation of lasers that have been firing at everyone. Oh, but firing lasers is kind of my thing. <laughs> All right, let's do this. Okay, be careful. Bargeon, Hex, how dare you disturb me? Can't you see I'm firing my laser? No, no, no. Firing my laser? Firing my laser? Firing my laser? My noob detector is tingling. You are a noob. Firing my laser? Firing my laser? Well, I'd be delighted to, Costa. Although it is quite a long-range lasering, so I'll just bring my intercontinental laser-extending satellite array online. There we go. Charging my laser. I'm OK. Charging my cake laser. stuff in there. Hey, I'm Will. You know what they say, a laser a day keeps the noobs away. Well, that actually leads us into our next topic. It's come to our attention, you've been repeatedly accused of being a noob yourself. Negative! That is fake news. Well, we've got the tapes to prove it. <laughs> one. Why does Dararin kill noobs? Because Dararin is one. Darren is an ultra mega super noob. Darren is just an ordinary Ooh. Ooh. Darren is a noob. Hello, good game. In your Spawny Park episode, Darren said Spinosaurus instead of Spinosaurus. In episode 22, Darren said night runs for 10 minutes. It actually runs for seven minutes. So drink from the noob cup, and if you don't, I will corrupt your database. See, Mr. Can't Pronounce Things, another in a long list of mispronunciations. <laughs> or do I this complaint from... <laughs> oh! That's all the time we have. Um, Darren, don't think you're getting out of this that easily. You definitely owe us and the Spawnlings at least one drink from the noob cup. Uh, negative. It, it will make me rubber spew. Well, that's all right, Darren. We'll get Goose to clean it up. Now, yeah. just have a little sip. A little, a little sip. Noob cup. Come on, mate. You know the rules. <laughs> I'll rubber spew. <laughs> oh, well, oh, awful. Oh, oh, yuck. Oh, oh, oh. As your extreme ruler, I order you to give me those tapes. There are no tapes. We found all that on the internet. You'd have to destroy the entire internet to erase all that. Mariam, remind me to destroy the internet after this. We also noted you seem to have a very weak stomach. Oh, <laughs> 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 No, Darren. Oh, oh, let's get out of here. Are you still there, Darren? 
Was that supposed to be a question? No, I just wanted to show that. But it does bring us to perhaps our biggest question of the night. How did you become Extreme Ruler? No one has any memory of it. It just seemed to happen after what people have started to call the Great Blip. Oh, well, that was caused by my laser. Another laser did that. Affirmative! My linked alternate space-time entanglement reconstructor button. It must have been pushed and somehow reconstructed our universe to one where I've become your ruler. <laughs> right, so you pushed a button and took over the universe. Pretty much. Hold it right there! What's this? What's going on? Who are you? Jem? It's me, Rad. You were my friend. We hosted GGSP together, remember? I've come to put things back to the way they were. I hosted that video game show? But I'm a wildly successful and well-respected award-winning journalist. No, that was the button. That's not you. Plus, you were in a bunch of those clips. Didn't you recognize yourself? Hmm, I suppose that did seem odd. But am I rich in your world? Because I have a very fancy house and car. Oh, no, not exactly. Uh, but hey, you were rich in spirit? Mm, nope, that's useless. Uh, security, get the intruder out of here. Wait, nobody move. She's got the laser button. That's right, mister. I'm gonna press it and put things back to the way they were. I don't care how many times I need to press it. One of those universes will be ours. But Rad, think about what you're doing. I've achieved world peace. The humans need me as their extreme ruler. World peace means nothing if I lose my friends. I'm gonna make things right. This is it! We're back! Whoa, that was so weird. Gotta say, though, I rocked that pantsuit. Yeah. Oh, it's so good to have you back, Jem. <sighs> oh, well, you know what they say. Ruler of the universe one day, director the next. Easy come, easy go. Hey, how come the button didn't affect you, Rudd? Oh, I'm wearing my anti-quantum entanglement pants. Ooh, cool. Need to get me a pair of those. Well, now that things are back to normal, we can get back to reviewing games. Coming up next week on the show... <laughs> We gotta go fast through the remastered adventures of Sonic Colors Ultimate. Until then, be nice, have fun, and keep gaming. Gem out. Brad out. Darren out. Hey, wait a minute. That toy wasn't there before. This is the wrong reality. Brad, go! No. <laughs>